When's that? Do you want me to tell you when we're ready? Yeah, tell me we're when we're so ready. ready. Are we ready? <laughs> oh my god. What are we doing here? Call it Paige. What is this? Are this we is, live? This we are so okay, live. Okay, well so awesome. Live. This is lunch break live. Welcome Hello. everybody. Welcome everybody. Okay, so Renee and I are gonna be making something super, super healthy. So happy Valentine's Day, of course. I'm Hello, Elizabeth Alfano. Yeah. Oh sorry, sorry, say that again. <laughs> I'm Elizabeth Alfano. Yes. I'm on here a lot, and this is Renee. Renee Marinkovich, <laughs> the animal hostage negotiator. <laughs> To come silver to this party chef. today. Yes, and Silver Chic Chef, we got this the silver <gasps> in the kitchen. Chef. Bringing some love, bringing some Valentine's. Some okay. We have not just Valentine's Day love and Valentine's Day energy. I personally think it is raining here today in I Los Angeles. Love it. it rains here. I think it, it actually beautiful rains here. Because this is how lovers so nice. stay in bed together. So, Ooh, no, this is why it's I gotta raining. go. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I'm Wait, busy. I need yeah. one of the. Mm -hmm. Right after this, I'm going right back to bed with my boyfriend. <laughs> so, I'm just saying there's a reason for the rain. Uh, but, okay, in addition to love, 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 Valentine's Day is about your heart. So I okay. wanted to make something that was heart healthy. So, okay, hold on to your bootstraps. Okay. I've got banana, pumpkin, raisin, coconut, Ooh. Shimmy, shimmy, uh, cocoa pop. carrot, coconut, and yeah. raisin. I think I said that. Pumpkin, yeah. banana, muffins. But what you'll notice is mm. no flour. No sugar, no butter. No sugar, thank you. Wow. Yeah, so this is the most healthy of healthy treats you can give yourself and your family. Wow. Today thank I'm gonna you. make them in muffins, but you can make them as cookies and you can make them as bars. And wow. Renee and I are gonna make that happen. Woohoo! Oh, and it's super easy. I'm Did super, I say that? Super easy. Yeah, super yeah we're all about super, super easy. easy. Okay, wait, I also see there's a carrot. Oh yes, There's well because it's, it's it's part of the muffin. Okay, yeah. well, we're gonna let's see. get to work. Okay, okay, so super excited. Let's, let's get this party oh started. Party is starting. Okay, okay. okay so people are asking us. So we're making some muffins. Yeah, we're making muffins. Made into, okay, I see some. Pumpkins. Sorry, honey. Yeah, well, just tell me what to do. She is just dancing. Open that. Oh, oh, I have that. skills. I have skills. I have many many skills. Da, da, it da. includes. <laughs> I can open a can. <laughs> All right, great. Are you sure about that? Well, might have oversold that. Okay. <laughs> it's coming, people. It's Let's coming. Okay. Go. Okay. This is all for play. You know I what? I am actually going to move on to step two. Okay. So, okay. in addition to pumpkin, and we're not actually going to even put in that much pumpkin. It's only no. going to be half a cup of pumpkin. There it is. But the thing about pumpkin is, when I was making this recipe, because I really did set out with the intention of okay, no flour, no butter, no sugar. I thought, well, what's oh. going to help it stay together? And <gasps> the like a good marriage, good relationship. <laughs> what is going to help it stay, stay together? together? Okay, so we've got some bananas and pumpkin here. That's Al Green I'm in that refrain. <laughs> Wait, is there a song? Al, Al Green, um, let's stay together, right? How's it going? It goes. It, uh, Tina Turner covered it. Let's Come see, on, let's, let's stay Come together. On. Let's let's, let's stay, stay together. together. Yes, yes, right. It's, it's just like that. Yes. Michael Jackson. Uh -oh, uh -oh. No, no, Michael Jackson. Gotta be starting don't something. Ah. Oh, I watched yeah, the video also this Michael morning. Jackson. I don't know. <laughs> All right, she's she's so, putting bananas in there. Is this okay, one whole so, banana? Yes. So this is one whole banana, and I'll tell you, I I. Hmm peeled it before I really got to let you guys see it. So I really want the brownest banana possible. Oh, so yeah. it runs with the spots. Absolutely, and actually to my preference, it's not brown enough. So when I'm in the grocery store, I'm like giving people a hockey hip check so I can get to the brown bananas. Because that's what Hockey hip, hip check. check. Like uh, Rick you know. Scott. That's what oh, I'm the just vocabulary like, today. Just like Rick just Scott. Like Rick oh, yeah. Scott. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. You don't know who Rick Scott is. He's oh, a, he's a I love him. marketing maven and... Shout out to Rick Scott. Yeah, shout out to I, Rick Scott. I really love him. A, a yeah. vegan as well. So we're yes. so excited. Okay, Happy Valentine's like, Day, Rick Scott. So I'm mushing this. Mushy, mushy. And so this is really going to take the place of my butter. So that's why I have this mushy, mushy, brown, brown, very sweet. I feel another song coming. <laughs> mushy, 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 brown, mushy brown, 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 brown. Oh, oh, oh. This is, this is this really is just the, us in this kitchen, right? There's the, no one. The creative we like, hour. interrupted someone's day with okay. singing. Maybe I think we'll I'm, keep doing that. I think I'm just about mushy enough. You're that's so okay. yes. beautifully creamy. It's like baby food mush. It's well, cream. Yes, it goes that it's way. a wonderful binder. But you know, that's that the, the thing. It binder. is a binder. And so it takes the place of butter and also a little bit of flour and the fact that it keeps things together, which is so wonderful. All right. So back back to, to our relationship analogy. Back to the relationship so analogy. It gonna, binds us together. Animal it's gonna hostage kill me. negotiator always thinking of ways to keep relationships together, together and fresh. Okay. 
Okay, Elizabeth. Elizabeth is so she's she, the okay, lead I'm chef, here. as you can see. You can Renee tell me is the sous chef. I in no, I'm just taking a space. Elizabeth and... Alfano's the Silver Chefs. Yes. The, uh, yes. the awesome vegans podcast hey, hostess guys. creator. We got a cup there. Her kitchen. Go. We are working in her kitchen I know, right this now. Fun. You know what? While well, so I great. can On I give a, a plug? Day, actually, of course we love I'll plugs. plug to it. so my awesome vegans podcast, which I do right here on Jane Unchained. Shout out to Jane, by the way. Happy Valentine's Day. I sure do love you, Jane. I love you. We love you, Jane. We really do. Um, so you can only get over your shyness. Then we do. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry. It's an overused joke. We love you so much. So on so Monday, I'm going to have Ed Begley here, <gasps> right on Jane on Jane. What? Oh, and of course, oh my gosh. Ed Begley I love Jr. him. Yeah, that we love so him. Great. And of course, Paige, I think this speaks to you because he's so sustainable. Yes. Eco really so vegan all the way. All the way. He's so wonderful. So. And what are you guys going to be doing? Well, he's taking me to his house, which you may know is completely 100% right. sustainable. His okay. house is the Leeds Certified you... Sustainable. Oh, I would love. I can prep. Oh, wonderful. I would love if you could get me a quarter cup yep. of raisins and a half a cup. Okay, wait, basically wait. three quarter cups. I, I'm okay. hanging on every word. Ed Begley Jr. So, yes, Ed Begley Jr. is going to be on the Awesome Vegans podcast right here on Jane oh, Unchained wow. on Monday at 4.30 p.m. And he's going to take me through his house, which is 100% sustainable, lead certified. He's done many TV shows about it. Oh, thanks, hon. So I'm putting in some raisins now. So I'm super excited. I've never met him before. So, of course, we're going to go through his house, talk about his sustainability, and now we're going to sit down and chat about being vegan. So Wow. And how long has he been vegan? Uh, oh, my word. A very he's long very time. Very long oh, thanks. time. I know he's a vegetarian, like as long as I can remember, forty some. So that plus. was yeah. Oh, that was a math thing. That was that three was, quarters oh, a cup, which okay. was a half a cup plus a quarter cup. Totally, and I'm still good it about together. your math skills because you were following that. All right, now. I'm going to take, so that was the raisins. Oh, that was raisins. So now I'm going to just, I'm not quite ready for coconut. Okay. I'm going to take a cup, and you can get me a half a cup when I I'm did, done with this. Okay, so that means we have one and a half cups. Yes, we're, we're still doing the, the <laughs> She's math She's doing your mental math, keeping our brains okay. fresh. So if you're <laughs> just your joining us, action. Okay. we are here with Porter. Animal Hostage Negotiator That's Renee right. Rinkovich. Also, Elizabeth Alfano, a sort of chic right? chef. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Awesome vegan Hi, podcast guys. hostess and creator. And we are all three of us, Jane and Jane contributors. I was just going to say, how do we know one another? Oh, I yes. just came this looking for amazing. free food. She I know. <laughs> That's, I was just out not knocking on doors. And <laughs> it's really quite a story how the three of us came school. together, though, if you think about it. I because know. each one of us yeah. have, has our own background with animal rights, background with veganism, and I'm ready to hear your story, Elizabeth. So tell us. Oh, gosh. When did you become vegan? Well, and how, what's, your, what's your vegan story? Um, sous chef, put it. Put it away. Put it away. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. Okay, wait. By the way, we're making muffins. Done. Yeah, we're making muffins. Valentine's okay. delicious muffins. Yes. Okay. okay. Full cup. Elizabeth, take it away. So, um, I have a, a bit of a strange story. Maybe you guys have heard me tell this before. So, um, hold on. I'm looking hold for Hold on. She's totally special. looking. I'm just um, going to flash back here and show you her beautiful house, which she has some decorations out. Looks like she's got some healthy lollipops. And it looks like those might be the muffins over there that we you are You know that making. moment when you lose the utensil you really need? Got it. Oh, she found I'm it. it. She I'm on it. it. Carrot She's utensil. Right. Okay, I'm on it. Continue on with your story. So, story. when I was a kid, I think this will resonate with a lot of people, when I was a kid, I couldn't chew meat. I just knew that there was something wrong. I never liked the taste of it. It made me feel sick mm. physically, but also mentally when I was chewing it. And I was five, seven. I mean, I didn't know any of this stuff. Why about animals or any of that kind of stuff. I just didn't want to do it and my parents I love them they're the most wonderful parents in the world they didn't know any better they're like oh gosh this kid's gonna die she's not eating meat so they punished me pretty severely and they said you can't leave the table until you eat this meat and I didn't want to do it so I would stay alone it for three four hours and then I started hiding the meat like in my pants pockets and under the table and they would find it and then I'd be in trouble for lying so I grew up thinking I have to eat meat there's no way around it I don't like it I don't want it but that's just the way it goes and you know, so I never really did it myself. I'd go to parties, I'd be like, oh, I'll take the pasta, you know? So I was always basically vegetarian, but never feeling empowered to say anything about it. I didn't know about the dairy industry at that point, mm -hmm. but I never felt empowered to say anything about it because I was sort of, bullied is the wrong word, but I just felt like I have no choice here. It's just how it goes. Then my nephew is an athlete and he went to the University of Oregon and he came back his first semester, first break home at Thanksgiving and he said, my coach told me no meat, no dairy. And I was like, you gotta be flipping no. kidding me. You got permission 
to be vegan? I've been waiting for that permission my whole life since I've been a kid at the dinner table. I've been waiting for that permission. I was like vegan before he finished the sentence. So that's my story. Wow, yeah. and how old were you then? When I went vegan? Yeah. Well, this was recently. I didn't go officially vegan until the end of 2015. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. this is... You've been, like Very you said, you had been waiting your entire life. I've been waiting my entire life. And I you're mean, only 20, so this is amazing. <laughs> and I'm only 20, yes. Yeah, no, I've been waiting <laughs> a very long time. Thank yes, you. Yes, wow. thank you. Quite a yeah, while. That's a, long a beautiful time. story. And the hiding the meat, did the animals come up to you and start sniffing in your pockets or what? Uh, no, my folks just found it when they were oh, cleaning the okay. house. I'm sorry that happened. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get wow. back to what you're making now. What's okay, this? right. This so, coconut um, shreds. My lovely Ooh, Vanna White Renee yes. was able to get me a cup of coconut. And so, the way I like to cook, if it's okay, Renee, let's yes. like stuff this to the top because I'm gonna like oh, then push like it down. Overstuff. So I like to overstuff my my stuff. And I'll say here, the coconut that I have is kind of long shreds of coconut. So this is there's no like madness to this method. Thanks, sweetie. That's just is perfect. Um, I'm going to actually, if you can see here, I don't know, I'm going to put this down and chop it a little bit because yeah, these are too long for me. That. Yeah, so okay. I really, no method to the madness here. Um, ideally, if you're getting these at home, just shred them. Just like shred them yourself or, or get, get them shredded. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. a little okay. better. So you it's know, a so lot smaller is what you're saying? Yes, yes. I'm going to put this here just for you a second. You know what I love about this recipe is, I, I mean, I'm ready to eat the dough. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. yes. Right? That's, I mean, that's also raw, wonderful. Raw, so let me go. Raw, have some raw oh, cookies yes. here. Raw muffins. Yes, raw muffins. Absolutely. And I'm going to basically do the same thing with the carrots. Okay. So I have a, a carrot here. I've already kind of pre-done it. So it's a cup of carrot shreds, which is great. I just take my shredder and you know, let's go easy. to it. Let's go to it. Easy, this is easy. easy. Look at that. This is one of the reasons why I say that cooking for me is, and I'll, I'd love to know what Renee thinks about this. It's such meditation for me because mm -hmm. chopping vegetables is just a wonderful feeling. Mm -hmm. All right, so listen, Absolutely. Dina Ferris Appel, who's an incredible hey, artist, she's going to be on Lunch Break Live in a couple of weeks. I believe we're next week. She says hello, Douglas Owens, Betty Ann Cornwall, Lo Zamora. Hi. We have another uh, from Douglas Love of Muffins. That's what he's calling these. The Love of Muffins. <laughs> oh, I love, love it. Muffins. The Love That's Muffins. So That's true. us. We're, We're the Love, love Muffins. We're making Love Muffins. Love muffins. Yeah. Danielle says hello. Hi, Danielle. Oh my gosh, Douglas says go and bananas in the kitchen. Oh. You know Linda Middlesworth from V Dog. Hi, Linda. Hi, Linda. Hi. Oh, so I'm adding my love you, V Dog. Oh, we totally you. love you. Yeah, we so love my love. dog loves you now. Loves you. Now loves I'm you. adding um, my carrots, and I I kind of chopped this up a little bit too earlier so that they're not so so long. Yeah. Um, maybe I can even do it a little bit more. Do you know a Douglas Owens who goes to U of O? I don't know. He's doing a shout out for U of O. Look at that. Hey, Woo! everybody. Hey, hey, hey. We know him now. We know, we know him, him now. now. You know him That's now. Absolutely right. Three yes. Yes. One more utensil. Here, I'm going to go ahead and take a moment as we're talking about love. Yes, so yeah. my, my, my debut broadcast with Jane and Chain was about the other kind of love that we imbibe. And we just talked about the meditative quality of cooking. So I do know that usually you know, like, I'll have my music or I've got a podcast or when I'm in silence and my cats are watching and my dog is there. It can just be so uh, relaxing to just get into each thing and think about each, each actual action I'm taking part of and maybe go through a verbal gratitude list or you know, talk through my intentions and usually turn on an audible because I am a bookaholic and that's what I'm gonna share with you. First of all, for those of you who haven't yet enjoyed the vegan lifestyle and you are pre-vegan, one of the questions we ask is why do we love our dogs and yet still eat pigs or wear cows? And I reference this book by Melanie Joy. So if this hasn't come into your line of sight, this is a fantastic resource, a very friendly read, to help you question the culture that we've been raised in and how well we've been marketed to. On the other end of the spectrum, this is about once we've made this, how do you really nurture yourself with food? And this was brought to me, uh, my attention by my mentor, and this is by Mark David, and I love referencing this work. It's called The Slow Down Diet, Eating for Pleasure, Energy, and Weight Loss. And though you may not be seeking any weight loss, but you may be seeking uh, to feel better on the inside and not have indigestion, it might just be a health thing or better energy. And this one really, this one culminates all of like a lot of ancient wisdom and common sense, but really often is it, it isn't just what we're eating, but who we are when we are eating. 
So I have on my little, I have an app where I am so consistently right now, it's game changer. I sit down. I know, really? I sit down to eat my meal, so I'm totally present with it. But what it does for my metabolism, that's the game changer. It's so helpful for my build, my body's ability to actually absorb the nutrients. So, once Can you again, show us the books again? Yeah, these time? are such okay. rich. The Slow Down Diet. Slow Down Diet there by Mark go. David. So, Mark David, thank you for this work. Another Super. easy read. Yes. Half, a, half an inch there. Yes, yes. And this one, why do we love dogs and yet eat pigs and wear cows? How did that Ooh. happen? Now, ain't that powerful. There you go. Just coming little... off the protest about the fur and how Los Angeles yeah. is going fur ban and they're burning, banning the sale and the wearing of Oh, I like this move. This is the good move. This is, this is the move shimmy. right here. Let's see. Shimmy, shimmy. Shout Shout out to Los Angeles for making that happen. Yes. Oh, shout out, so shout awesome. out. Okay, what so, do we so have awesome. going on here? There's so much goodness. Okay, so what's in here? Now we have all the basics. So Tell we have us. banana, pumpkin, raisins, raw oats, carrots, and coconut. Oh. Shredded carrots, shredded coconut. <gasps> But I gotta add a little bit of something, something, right? Ooh, so something before something. you feel bad about this, Dr. Gregor, when I interviewed him, I'm Awesome Vegans, right here on Jane Unchained, he was like, go add it, you can't do harm, it's date syrup. So Dr. Gregor says, fine, then I go with it. So, what are you dating? Because I what love is this him. Date, this is the date that we're having date here. Syrup. This it's is the date, syrup. date syrup. It's a, it's a date syrup kind of day. We're dating dates. We're dating dates. Dating dates. <laughs> it's a date oh, that, thing. Oh, that prolific page. Um, <laughs> now, where do you get this? Pretty thing? prolific page. Oh, oh, prolific that's page. a lot of P's. Let me tell you. Alliteration oh. Central here. That's I what we do. Wait, wait, where do you get I love the way everything's starting just the, the moisture is going through right. all the ingredients. Ooh, we're binding. How we're hard binding. is this? That's what I no, love. It's, it's just so easy. How to counter, have some of these similar ingredients. I know that in my kitchen, if I, I know I'm out when I wait, don't have oatmeal yes, and yes. cinnamon. Yes. Wait, maple wait. syrup is such a great maple sweetener. Syrup, so Ooh, this is maple, maple syrup. Maple. Okay, okay. So mm. two tablespoons of date syrup, one tablespoon of maple syrup, and one tablespoon of vanilla. So now we're okay. giving it a little something. Now, of course, a lot of raisins already have a little bit of okay. sugar on them. Mm -hmm. So wow. you're going to get a lot of sweetness from the brown banana. Oh, yeah. You're going to get a lot of sweetness from the raisins. And carrots, when they bake, give you great sweetness. So carrots are great natural sweetener. So I, I added a little a bit of extra sweetener there. So we've got our date syrup, we've got our maple syrup, and we've got vanilla. Now, here I just do the rest for a little bit of something, something. So every time I go mm -hmm. to the doctor, I get my blood blood pressure checked they're like you're dead you're dead so salt is not a problem for me but for other people I know they want to watch this so okay. in my so. recipe that's going to be on Jane Unchained it's also on my website elizabethalfano.com I say a half a teaspoon but for me I just go like okay I'm a, a little, little bit dash. Yeah. I just kind of go I'm a dasher I don't I rarely I'm a dasher so I yeah. rarely <laughs> you know uh, all measure it people out people want to know where do they get the date juice I mean the hmm. date uh, Great question. syrup amazon.com oh. so now I add Added some cinnamon again cinnamon. in my recipe. It's gonna oh. say half a teaspoon. Season of the gods. I this know. Season, wait, wait, say that so again. Good. So Season addicting. Of the gods. And, and then it's great to add to your coffee and your some eating. pumpkin mm -hmm. spice. Pumpkin just a little spice. bit of that. Uh, again, in the recipe, it's going to call for half a teaspoon. And then finally, finally, a, what tad is this? a tad bit of baking soda. And this one, I really do measure out because I just don't want too much right. of this stuff. Because it could get bitter. It get, and yes, it gets kind like, of chalky. Oh, it shouldn't have been chalky. so, so bohemian. It's, it's really like between a, a quarter a, teaspoon and a half a teaspoon. Okay, quarter just and a half. A little this recipe on janeunchained.com, Yes, y'all. for sure. Hey, Absolutely. by the way, shout out to our Instagram. There's so many oh, good. people Instagramming, right? Yes, So great. it's Jane and Chain News. At Jane Unchained News, right? Okay. Instagrammy. What's your Instagrammy? <gasps> oh, I just launched it. I oh, did it. I mean, it's been Renee Marinkovich because I have my biz. Anyways, Animal Hostage Negotiator. There if you is. go to Animal Hostage, I've just relaunched Animal Hostage. And Animal Hostage Negotiator. Mine, find you. Mine's really simple. Elizabeth Alfano. Okay. So that's my website. That's my Instagram. That's my Twitter. And that's it's all there. My it's all yes. there. Okay, so I'm just mixing this together. You see it's gotten oh, very moist on us. Yeah. And Renee's totally right. So this is like add it all together and move on. This is the simplest of favorite. There, there aren't stages, there aren't seven bowls. One bowl, put everything in and move on. So yeah, that's and that's fun. We're busy pretty. ladies. We it's have a fun. lot going on. Animal hostage negotiator. Can yes. you please tell us what does that even mean? What 
is it that you are all about here? Did I catch sure. you on the spot? No, I, I love know you're that watching question. this and Jane's it's, been talking about you. Like, I know. I, mean, I love that. So, I love that. It's yes. really, it's a beautiful metaphor for anyone who calls themselves an animal activist because aren't we really trying in all of our endeavors to release the hostages that are animals? What animal is in a circumstance, in factory farming, in a puppy mill, under their own accord? Don't they want the freedom? So it, it's multi-level. And how did I come about it? Well, how do I fund my life? I'm a residential real estate agent and I'm part of a fabulous group and we're always seeking better knowledge and mentors and uh, two years ago, I came across Chris Voss. So here's another tip of the day. Chris Voss was an FBI, wait for it, hostage negotiator. And he wrote a book called Never Split the Difference. And I was fortunate enough to be able to do some classes with him, with my team, and really dive into what is the power of emotional empathy, tactical empathy. How do we neutralize a conversation so that the other person isn't just completely reacting and putting up all the walls, how did they actually release hostages in what is probably one of the most emotional endeavors? That's life and death. Aren't we dealing with life and death as animal activists? So one day I said, oh my gosh, we're all animal hostage negotiators. So it's been one way for me to connect my activism with my business per a life, and I'm endeavoring to learn how and where to help anyone in animal rights learn to negotiate better. And that might just be a one-on-one -on -one conversation with someone who's like, already has the wall up, you're a vegan, oh, to truly trying to negotiate the release. I just got a call about two dogs in South Central in horrible conditions. The owners do not want to release the dogs. There's a rescue group wanting to take it. So it's in the animal rescue world. Of course, it's out there with big ag. I mean, at every point, aren't we all negotiators? And our little ones start negotiating with us the moment they start speaking. So yes, uh, it's Even everywhere. Children so, as well as dogs, cats. I mean, it's all a negotiation. And I'm still Friends. learning. And, you know, Jane just, I happen to be telling her a story and we were going over something and she just she dove right into it and that's why she keeps referencing it and I, I I will repeat Chris Voss animal hostage negotiator and just know I'm out there diving in and learning and you can always contact me at Renee Marinkovich we're looking to do more work online and do more role plays so that we're all learning to up our game how do we connect how do we actually help people yes. take the next step forward to saying Oh my gosh, look what we can be doing on this beautiful Valentine's Day where I'm completely congruent with my values. No one suffered for this meal. That's what we get so excited about, Absolutely. right? We can eat well and do beautiful things. And you know how personal our food is. It's the way we convey love in so many ways, but no suffering has to be a part of that. And the truth is, you know, we were all marketed to. I was born in 66, I'm 52, and I've been marketed to from the womb. I mean, right out of the womb, I should be drinking milk and eating cereal and look at all these convenient packaged foods that come with processed meat and I mean, all that stuff and the sugar, the dairy. So I, I love reading, leading a revolutionary life now that is about compassion. And yet we all still have compassion for those who are still pre-vegan. Right, so, Elizabeth? Totally. Wow. She's totally oh, into it. She's totally totally I'm just making, it. So I'm making Elizabeth sure that my... Is, <laughs> a, I just want to make sure that it's all like heaven. so focused and I absolutely love it. And I'm hoping, Renee, you have a camera because we're just going to do it right now. Take a little quick well, picture. It, it's cute because it looks like it's a little so booty cute. from that side. And then I realized we should turn around so it looks like a heart. It looks like a heart. They're a little more shapey. I know it. Oh, my God. Can I you know. take a photo? I would love you to take a photo. And then I'm okay. going to be... I think we're going to pop these in the oven. I'm going yes. to try them, right? Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. So this is gonna pop in the oven. It's gonna pop in the oven at 350. 350. And I just, you know, they're there. So you have a bunch of options here. I just want to say. Yes. You can also, if you don't want to make heart muffins, but you want to take like bars with you on the way to work out or if you're hiking or something. Sure, sure, so sure. you can put it just flat in a dish like this and then chop them up when they're ready into bars. Or of course you can oh, make nice. cookies if you want to give them to your kids and they can put them, you know, take them with them to school. You can do little cookies instead. So if you're going to do cookies, this will bake 350 for about 15 minutes. Okay. If you're going to do bars, it'll bake 350 at about 25 minutes. Here we've got muffins. They're pretty thick. So this is going to be about 23 to 25 minutes as well. Okay. So just gonna pop right in. Renee, do you want to come back over here and hold yeah. the camera when I yeah, taste wait. Taste? Yes, but I want to be able to taste because I remember <laughs> I was here for free food. So let's just be clear. Okay, I believe I we're going to switch. I'm taking here. the camera. Oh, okay, yeah, you'll get to taste. I, I know okay. I will. I'm going to come in here and I've got a few more questions Woo! for Miss 
All right. Okay. So Woo! we're all going for uh, Miss okay. Elizabeth. Yeah. What do you think, Elizabeth? Let's see. Okay. So, so now, oh, she's on the other. Oh, the magic she, of, you know, we're, we're all so the shy girls. I have to show this. Just no. She decorated. She put them in the little. Are these? Are these? Oh, they're so cute. I, I know. It. Okay. So, so okay. It tends to be a little bit of a brown and orange color. So plating is also going to help make it super pretty. Yes. But uh, there you go. So these baked for about twenty minutes, and you can, if you want, you can put frosting on them. But I really went out of my way to make it no Ooh. butter, no sugar, no flour. So I didn't put frosting on them. But if you <laughs> felt like you wanted to make this for someone's birthday, or you wanted a healthy <laughs> option or something, then. Uh, <laughs> You could do that. Hold on Paige a second. Paige is laughing. We're gonna do, we're I am. a quick second yeah. of training. Just, it's just one way or the other, and you'll see it moving. Just put your finger on it and kind of slide right. it. Oh, okay. oh, oh, there it is. There you go. I have a different area. Okay. Technical, so, technical, technical moment. Technical. We're good. We're always in training, aren't we? Oh, yes. Always. Always. Oh, okay. Every day. Every day. Well, I taste this. Oh, yes. Okay. okay. Now, I want, I want real commentary, not just that it tastes good, because I, I always okay. see these shows okay. and like. You know, on the news, right, I'm like, right. I want the real deal. I want adjectives. Okay, okay. I'm going to give you right. superlatives, adjectives, okay. you name it. Okay. 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 In the meantime, okay. I'm tasting right. and okay. enjoying. Elizabeth's okay. going to tell us what's next. All right. We've got Ed Beckley Jr. But also, okay. you know what I've always wanted to ask you? I've always wanted to ask you, have you always wanted to be a reporter? Oh. What's the matter? Wait, Claire Mann is saying hi from Australia. Oh, hi. Hi. Come Come on. On. The author of Vistopia, an incredible book. Yes. Thank you, Claire, uh, for yes, all thank you. you. For and all your and empathy for anyone who's who's pursuing a compassionate lifestyle. Yeah. Her work. Yeah. Claire, yeah. please text yeah. the link to your work. Yes. Yeah. Put it yeah. up. Put thank it up. you. Hi, Tracy Childs. Hi, Hi Tracy. She says it looks Diego. great. Hey, San Diego. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. We're going in so, for the... Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm going to... Mm -hmm. You yeah, don't me show. not just going to slip that in there. No, I know, mm -hmm. but tell us... So have you oh. always wanted to be? Right. Oh. So I started reporting for PBS in sort of late 2009, mm -hmm. and then I went on to do uh, NPR and WGN Radio in Chicago and HuffPost, yeah. and it wasn't until I switched my own personal values in 2015 that I said, oh, okay, I'm going to switch my journalistic values, and I'm, mm. I'm moving, and now I just do plant-based reporting. And that could be on anything from the environment, our health, politics, subsidies that are going in the wrong way, going subsidies mm -hmm. going to the things mm -hmm. that make us sick, and then we have these high medical bills. So uh, it could be that, or it could be animals, of course. Obviously, animals, the uh, impact of factory farming, animal agriculture, or health and baking and cooking. It can go lots of ways. So or just my own stuff and your own stuff and Renee's own stuff. So I just switched. It's plant-based only. How is it? Wow. Okay. Really? Okay. Oh, that was okay. not enough. It tastes mm -hmm. like it's granola muffin Oatmeal cookies, Ooh. your favorite from grandma, oh, all, con all condensed in one muffin. Okay. Wow, and no so flour. No or flour. No butter. I mean, it's, no got, sugar. it's got carrots in it. You can actually slip in some zucchini, I imagine, oh, too. Probably. I mean, I'm sure, just sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Got, it, but it's got plenty. It's got like yeah. seven ingredients in here. Oatmeal. I love the date. Mm. Um, we've got we've got raisins, raisins we've got oatmeal, carrots, pumpkin, pumpkin, ground banana, carrots, coconut. So wow! No, no oil, no oil, no butter, no, and no sugar. No, no flour. We should sister. No oil, butter, or sugar. No, no, no. no. and lots of love and just love. everything you yeah. want and more. So yes. and more. Yes. Okay. Yes. While I have you though, I have yeah. another question sure, for Miss sure, Elizabeth. Sure, sure. Okay, more. So Bring I have on. to say, when I was younger and I saw, well, not that much younger, but Oprah. Mm -hmm. as as well as Barbara Walters, I said, I really want to be a combination of the two. Oh. I just thought, oh, that's such a good combination. You kind of are like that. Oh, <gasps> she's got her oh. sassy Elizabeth Alfano, though. Can There's nothing like I Elizabeth. Love Paige. Oh. <laughs> That's how much I love Paige. Okay. And, and shout out to Paige. There ain't nobody like Paige. Well, you know, so we're all original. Like Let's remember that. Yes. I said to my early morning class at 6 a.m. this morning, listen, it's about loving yourself first. Yes. So it doesn't totally. matter if yeah. you have a Valentine because yeah. get one out there. It, guess what? Look in the mirror. Oh, no, and it's about yeah. loving yourself first and then being somebody who yes. loves others, right? Oh, wow. Animals, plants, yeah. humans, causes, all of it. So, And, and just to elaborate that a little yeah. bit. So show compassion to yourself first, particularly women. We're always the first to say, oh, you mm. look too fat. I should have done this. It wasn't good. We're so quick to be down on ourselves. Critical. None of that. Yeah, show the compassion to you first, and then you can shove it out to the rest there of the world. There you go. <laughs> Sprinkle it, shove yeah. it, whatever it takes. Yes. Okay, my next question for Elizabeth Alfano is okay. this. What has been, up to this point, one of your favorite interviews thus far? Just saying. 
Uh, in what's that? Oh, that's right. In oh, of, yeah. of, of of all of them, because I started I just doing saying, like okay, you have to. I mean, because you know, it, it was a thrill to interview Woody Allen. Obviously, he's not vegan, but that was really wow, pretty. Woody pretty, Allen. Yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty fun to interview Woody Allen. Mark Ruffalo is one of the nicest people on the planet. Mm. Reese Witherspoon was also super sweet. Uh, Alexander Payne, he's the director of so many movies. He's so gosh darn cute. It's hard to sort of focus on <laughs> anything <laughs> else. Yeah. Uh, so this, you know, Morgan Freeman, Morgan Freeman was great. He's also oh, great. Wow. But in terms of my vegan peeps, sure, sure, uh, sure. So it's always a thrill to interview Moby. He's so knowledgeable. Uh, Billy Corgan was a huge, you know, lead singer of the Smashing, Smashing Pumpkins. Pumpkins. That's sure. a huge interview. That took a while to get because he's mm. always on tour. Smashing Pumpkins came back, so he's always on tour. So that was super tricky. Um, Dr. Gregor's just a thrill. Aww. I mean, we had great chemistry. Yeah, the yeah, Cheese so. Trap, if you haven't read that book uh, yet. Right, yeah, yeah, I, I just got it, it yeah. That's Dr. Yeah, Barnard, right? Oh, whom I also love. Oh, great. That's all right. How Not to Die? That's Dr. Gregor. That's Dr. Gregor. Oh, okay. Love, love, right, and yeah. more love. Yes. Dr. Yeah. Khan. I mean, yes. you so Dr. Khan. And Angie Davis. Yes, right. so Where can anybody see those? I'm Ooh. curious. And then I've got a comment. i got a question someone wants oh, to know about. Sure thing. So all of my interviews are on ElizabethAlfano.com. Okay. And, um, you know, they were always, of course, originally recorded right here on Jane Unchained. So they all went live first right here on Jane Unchained. Wow. Then I take back my interviews and I edit them and I put them up. The fun nice. thing that I did is sign up on her newsletter. I've been oh. signing up on everyone's newsletters. I think it's super cool. And Jane Unchained, you can go to janeunchained.com and you can get the newsletters and you can see our content on a monthly. Shout out to Ellen Dead, who's working uh, tirelessly oh word, to get you. the information yes. out to all of us. And yes. we're taking pictures and posting. And it's quite a team. The Jane Unchained team. Quite a team. Shout out to all y'all out there that are watching. Woo! Woo! My we, voice, but what's the question? We've got, of course, and I appreciate that Douglas Owens brought up. I wonder how chocolate chips might work with these. Ah, uh, yes. Hello, chocolate chips. I thought about it. <laughs> The only way, I mean, you can get vegan chocolate chips for sure, but they'd have to have sugar in them. So I thought for this particular recipe, I was going no sugar, but of no course sugar. you can do it. You but can, you can do sugarless. Yeah. I mean, you could do this as a sugarless. There are some stevia sweetened chocolate chips out there on the market. And oh, then okay. uh, yeah. maybe we can, it, we can put this in the link later, but I think it's the Food Empowerment Project that also has a link to researching basically a slave free chocolate, chocolate. Wow. so really yes. Yes. doing your research wow. on Absolutely. where is that chocolate coming from yes. especially yeah. on valentine's yeah. day it's a good yes. day to especially remember that especially on valentine's day i'm gonna want show another this one? plate again <laughs> i do i want more oh, i just want to show oh this my gosh, plate I'm so again uh, and i think jane is watching hi jane shout out happy uh, valentine's day now if jane, jane was at the consulate the um Amazonian, uh, the Brazilian, Brazilian consulate, consulate today, yeah. and it was a global movement to awesome. save Brazil from oh, the goodness. overtaking, the overthrowing, essentially, of the big conglomerates taking over. And again, we've got to think about Vegan World 2026, Dr. Silesh Rao. If you don't know anything about this, just look at our content. You'll see. Type in, search. You'll find it. And, yeah. Um, wow. Yeah. Is there anything else? No, I'm I, making this trifecta here. I know. I hope you all enjoyed it. I, I actually would like to add yes. something. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, okay. So I just, Coming it's well. Valentine's Day. So I wanted to do a shout out to all of the people, starting with Jane. But really, there's a long list of people. So shout out to the people I love. Jane, you were so incredibly fantastic and inspirational. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being tireless in what you do. But also, Ellen and Paige and Renee and Katie Cleary and Dotsie Bausch and Dr. Mm -hmm. Gregor and Dr. Barnard. And there's just so many people that I've interviewed and I love and everyone who's mm -hmm. working so hard on moving things forward for animals and changing animal lives. I am so grateful and oh, so appreciative. Beautiful. Right. Everyone is Happy uniquely and everybody. beautifully yeah. um, gifted. And so please lean in and share. We need your love <laughs> on this crazy Valentine's Day. All right. We're grateful you joined Woo! us today on um, Lunch Break yeah. Live. Again, shout out to all the contributors and uh, the Jane team. Thank love, you. Love. Peace and love. Bye. Bye. -bye.